The use of neuromuscular electrical stimulation, also known as NMES, as a treatment for erectile dysfunction is a topic with mixed findings. NMES is a type of electrical stimulation used to facilitate a muscle contraction for strengthening and assisting the return of muscle function. This form of electrotherapy has been postulated to work by increasing the communication between the brain, spinal nerves, and muscles. While some studies have shown potential improvements in self-reported erectile function with electrical stimulation, the overall quality of research in this area is sorely lacking. Most studies suffer from issues like low sample size, a lack of control groups, inconsistent treatment parameters, and a high risk of bias. It's also important to note that these studies often include participants with various medical conditions contributing to erectile dysfunction, making it challenging to determine the specific effectiveness of NMES in certain populations. A randomized control trial by Carboni and colleagues from 2018 explored the use of NMES for erectile dysfunction. They recruited 22 participants between the ages of 40 and 65 years old with erectile dysfunction that was not due to medical conditions such as neurogenic erectile dysfunction, like a spinal cord injury, low testosterone levels, diabetes, severe hypertension, or cardiovascular disease. They were also not using any medications to treat erectile dysfunction. The treatment group received electrical stimulation for 15 minutes, twice a week for four weeks for a total of eight sessions. The intensity of the stimulation was based on each participant's comfort level. Electrodes were placed in two locations, one at the base of the penis and the second two centimeters below the first. For comparison, there was a control group set up in the same way as the treatment group, but they received a placebo electrical stimulation. Essentially, it looked like the treatment, but there was no actual electrical power. The group that had the real electrical stimulation reported an improved ability to attain and sustain erections, as assessed by the Erection Hardness Score and International Index of Erectile Function 5. Prior to treatment, their scores fell within a range where the penis was sufficiently large but not rigid enough for penetration, and after treatment, the scores improved to a level of rigidity suitable for penetration but not entirely firm. The degree of erectile dysfunction went from a moderate level for both groups before treatment and improved to mild to moderate erectile dysfunction after treatment. It's worth noting that this study had limitations such as a small sample size and the participants didn't have any additional medical conditions that could contribute to erectile dysfunction, so relatively healthy individuals. These limitations make it challenging to generalize the results to a broader population, so we don't know who this treatment would work best for and with what medical conditions, if at all. Additionally, this study only provided short-term outcomes and didn't address the long-term effects or potential adverse consequences of the treatment. So while it showed slight short-term improvement for some individuals without added medical concerns, it doesn't provide a clear answer on whether electrical stimulation is a widely effective solution for erectile dysfunction. Thanks for watching. If you're as passionate about men's pelvic and sexual health as we are, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and spread the word. Let's grow this community together and make pelvic health education accessible to all men and the people who love them.